we have a brand new episode here. We've got a special delivery coming today. It's been a little up in the air. They wanted to drop trusses last week. And I just didn't want to do that. We weren't ready for them. We're not ready for them right now either, but we definitely weren't ready for them last week. And we don't want to rush into something like that. We want to take our time and make sure that we're good to go. With that said, welcome back to a new video. We've got all the exteriors up, minus that rake wall. We have trusses getting dropped today. We, we don't have time to do anything. We get, we're getting trusses dropped in like an hour. What I do want to do is set up some line braces so that we are nice and sturdy, that this building is not going to move. And what we're going to do is go from that little wall there to the center of this wall here. We're gonna create what we call a line brace to line this wall here. We're going to line this wall here. Yeah, that's the game plan. Garage wall's a little wonky too. Might line that thing. I don't know if it was just the plate we used. Some of you guys in the comments have mentioned the fact that the material is different thicknesses and that's exactly the problem we're dealing with. Some of the material that we've got is five and a half. Some of it's five and five eighths. Some of it's five and a quarter. So when you put a five and a quarter board on a five and five eighths, you've got three eighths of a difference. It stands out pretty bad. So we need to get trimmers underneath this, line this, make sure this doesn't go anywhere. Throw a brace from here down to here. We should be good though. So you guys can see this post here, this one here, this one out there. They line up perfectly with the outside of that wall. Now there's a beam that comes off of that corner and goes post, 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 and then ties back in here. You can see that that's in line with the corner of the building there. We have another post here that goes post, post, all the way out to there. Now, these trusses here sit on top of this wall, on top of that wall, and on top of this beam out here. These trusses here sit on this wall, that wall, and then out there on that beam. So realistically, before we can actually install the trusses, we have to have post, 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 and the beam. It's not a big deal though. That up. I want to grab these two by fours down here. Yeah, we get these out here. We'll be able to brace some stuff up real quick. How many? Two? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to go from down here up to here somewhere. I'd like to go to one of the king studs. Eh, maybe off one of the top crypts if it's nailed off with sheathing. And what we're going to do is sight down that wall, string it. Make sure it's straight. Blast that brace up. Same thing, likely off of the side of that king stud right there. We'll come down to a block in the floor. Got interior walls though, it's kind of a pain. We'll make it work. We need to line that one, that one, and this one. This house is coming along really, really nice. And I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like when it's finished. You know, back in 1970s when my grandfather started in this industry, back then you could have a verbal agreement with somebody on doing a project for four to $5,000. You shake on it and you go your separate ways. You build the house. Nowadays, things are a little bit different and that's okay. That's why thousands and thousands of contractors around the US and around the world are trusting HousePro to help run their business. HousePro has been a channel sponsor of ours here on the Matt Bangswood channel for a couple years now and we love working with them. We're in the process of designing and building a house out of state right now. And we're using House Pro to track all of our expenses from start to finish. We're using the floor plan along with the 3D renderings to see exactly what the place is gonna look like and more. But if you run a construction company, you need access to estimates, proposals, takeoffs. You need access to 3D floor plans and renderings to show your clients what things are gonna look like. Along with that, you need a way to get paid online and fast. When I say that House Pro genuinely cares about the people that use the construction management software, I mean it. So if you guys are looking for a construction management software that's gonna allow you to not only run your business better, but design homes, put in all your finishes, and see what stuff's gonna look like, which is a great selling point to clients, click the link in my bio and join House Pro today. How's it going, man? Uh, Matt. Jose. Nice to meet you, man. So, are we sitting like, like this? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, the only thing I don't have in I don't have in this beam back here. I'm not too worried about it. We could still stack up there. And then I don't have this beam in right here. I'm not too worried about it. If we could just offset the trusses this way to where they stay up on the wall, I'm cool with that. Okay. And another thing is the reed from where we're setting up is 
You're barely gonna be able to hit this. Yes. That's cool with me. So it, it'd be, you know, maybe ideal to get in here, but if you guys don't want to. I, I'm a, I have somebody coming right now. We can move all this material and shuffle you around so that this last little set we set yeah. can move you over. Yeah, that way we, we more or less set yeah. the building and we could. Do you want to do that before doing anything? Yeah, yeah. Let That's me. Exactly right there. Yeah. Let me. If they're not gonna start loading, let me just freaking unload it real quick. to do this it's incredible just gonna boom that stuff out right over there be able to do this that's pretty damn cool I gotta say hey will you put these flat underneath the stickers Do you want to move just the rest of that stuff yeah. as much as you can? I'm going to try to figure out what packages he's got where to where we can get him up there. He just said he wants to set up crane once and freaking ideally right in the middle and he said he could hit everything confidently. Yeah, if we're right here. So let me look at the packages he's got to see where he's going to be at. Yeah. What I, I was, this would be the best spot. I was looking at truss calcs and the back post and beam area, the trusses land on that as well. So I think if we just offset the trusses and set them on our plate, we can just take and drag them over. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Can I get those truss couch real quick and see where you got everything going? A2, A8's at the bottom. A8's my gable up against the garage. A7, all the way up to A5, those are last. A2, so those will get picked and go to the far. A5 here. B1, top section is the garage, easy, easy. B2, 2000, B1, 3000. Where is G1? G1's the front, oh, cakewalk. Hey, so if we could, if I can take the gable ends up there yeah. and drop them separate, I'm gonna sheet those on the ground and I'll stand them with the lift. We should be good. And then it, it looks like that'll be your garage up on top? Yeah, garage up on top there. We'll drop down into these guys here. It actually starts its garage and then its left side of building this way. Oh, okay. With our A2s. We'll be good. It's gonna go easy. Uh, are you gonna stand them up or lay them down? If we can stand them up up there, it's fine. We have seven of these A5s going through here and you can see this G1 1500 pound, which is up there. That's gonna create a gable and this will be Cali fill right here. So these A5s, which are right here, need to spin. Tail goes to the back of the building. This goes up against the front and we'll have it butt that gable. Then we'll do our little Cali fill off of it. Trusses look clean, look real clean. Same thing with, what are these bottom ones? So these A7s here, tail goes off the back side. That's gonna go out off that back patio area. That little bit of tail right there is gonna be here. So basically we have a fatty heel height right here because of the fact that the trusses don't continue all the way down. So this will plane all the way through but our tails are out here. So the entry of this building is gonna look really, really nice. It's gonna be like 
14 feet tall. That's rad. We're squared away. Our heaviest truss is 500 pounds. It's the gable. Our commons are 260. Commons are 209. Commons are 183. Light work. All of our shear panel, every wall that we've got sheeted and nailed off is acting as a brace to hold this place together. That wall right there will not crumble because of the fact that it's sheeted and built out like a diaphragm. Same goes for those ones, those ones, those ones, all of it. That is the joy of sheeting before you build. You know, sometimes you see those videos online where they build up all the way to the third story and don't sheet anything and the building falls. If they just sheeted a little bit, just a little bit, stuff wouldn't happen. I'm gonna grab out my gun and stuff because we'll set these trusses up there and I'm probably gonna have to throw some braces and up as we go. We need to get a catwalk in here. We need air hose, two air hoses though. We need to throw the catwalk right through the center right here. Through the center where? Through the center here. Okay. Hey, how am I gonna build a catwalk that tall? You want me to just put a freaking plate this up underneath? No. I could just put one like this and then put I'm one on just top. Slap one underneath there and double plate it. Underneath here and double plate? Okay. Go, we'll strong wall it, <clears throat> strong back it. We'll put one, one on edge right here, okay, and then put one flat on top of it. Okay, so then we'll just, po it and then we'll just post put up a in the post center. In the Got you. First stack we have is the garage. That's C215. We're getting me a couple two by fours right here. On the I'm just gonna hop up there then. Hey, what gable is that? That's our garage. You want to just set it instead of sheeting it? Okay. Yeah. Can we just hook that one and throw that one in? Let's put it on top? Yeah. yeah. It's up to you. I thought we could sheet them on the ground. Yeah, let's do that. Do you want to? I was going to set all the gables on the ground. Yeah. Let's set them on the ground and we'll just we'll catwalk that and package there. Okay. Yeah, let's just throw it on the ground then. Um, two bucks. Set it down, we need two guys. Go on, mark it. Yep. So then after this, we'll need a by six, we're gonna put out flat on top of the wall. Cripple to cripple underneath it. Just something to put underneath like this. Here you go. Yep. What do you got? I was centering on top of it. About an inch and a half off this way. Yeah, hold it. Pull your end, you're wet. What are those? Are those? What's that? B. Hold on one more second. That's that far pop out over there. We can just set them down on the ground. Which one is it? They're baby pop outs for that little eight foot, 10 foot section right over there. Far side of the building. Oh yeah. C1, C2, they're tiny. I'm gonna get a number on this last guy over here. At 102 and three quarter. 102, three quarter. Yeah, just give me a stud, it should work. I can just cut it if I need it. All the way, like that. Yep. To it and scribe it. Do we need a brace through the center, or the shear walls will hold it? No, nah, we're good. Okay. We're gonna pull the one off over here on the front. Okay. And drop it. Okay. And we'll put the package. Got gotcha. you. You want me to throw up another brace from this wall to the back? Yeah. Oh, there's two feet. Huh? That's front gable, back gable. There's G2 in there too. So B3, that's our vault right here. 
So we're just gonna cut that truss right there, drop it down, and then put this right back. Okay. Coming down. Are they all the same? There's a there's a B2. B2 is our gable on that side. B3000. 3000 goes here. And B2 is over there. So where's 3000? We need to spin it that way. How far over you want it, Pa? So what do you have? What's that gable? This is my gable B2, I think it's called. Yep. What do you want to do? Just leave it like this? Yeah, so let's come down right there. Yep. And we'll just leave this gable. We'll stack everything else out. Stack it out, flip this, and shoot it. Got you. Let me get over there. Oh, watch it. I got you. You're good. Have them stay there for two seconds. We're good. I might need a block. There you go. Here. Here. Oh. Sorry. Yep. Hey, go Let's go up. Go up a bit, bro. We'll put I'm gonna. Block it. Yep. <sighs> Those are A two, right? Got you. Those are very far left hand side. All these walls are super rigid. That one though, not having anything to tie into is kind of a little wobbly. This one is too. That's why line braces are needed. Our plumb braces hold this wall rigid in the corner. Our line brace will hold that in the center. How far are they splitting? Seven trusses down, A1 and then five A2s, I have six trusses. They're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They might have that A3 and the A4 in there. Regardless, they're gonna span over, over, and we're gonna drop here. This is my A2 section, yeah? Yep, one nail in there. Let's bring it up here. Got you. Bring it over that way, that swing in. it. This is gonna go right here through the center, just like that way, that swing one. it. All the way to the top. Go back to where it'll come down. It's gonna, it won't come down with it sitting on that. Up, 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 What number is that? That's 3,000, 3,000 goes right here. What number is it though? Spin them. Cool. Spin that towards the street. Okay. What else is it going to do? Let's go out. We're going to lay them that way towards the house. Go back towards you now. Towards me? Yeah, boom out. You want me to bring it back down or just go out? Just just go out. Yeah, a little bit that way. We're gonna lean back towards you? Yep. Okay, we're gonna go back that way. You're gonna lean back this way? Yeah. This next section, you wanna lay the same way? We could drop them there and lay them back on this middle wall. Go. Let's throw a two by six from here all the way across. Do you want to do one across the entry as well then? No, these ones die here. Okay. 
Gotcha. It's just blast that. And it doesn't have to be. Eh, go down to the. Hold it down three inches. Okay, and put it up underneath the plate over there. I got you. Yep. This one goes right here. Oh. And this this mule tail side goes to the it goes to the front the mule tail right. I was thinking we set something just like this. There's another set that goes over the entryway because they're they're like four foot heel heights. Let's go back this way. What way? Get that end over. Then we're gonna go down and back this way. A little bit more over there. We're gonna land back this way. I'm gonna need a block. Up. Up! Go down. You want to lay them down? Oh. Set them here and set them, lean them onto this. Ideal. Right over there. Put it here, match it there. Parallel to the building, brother. Come this way, we're gonna set it down like that. Down. Thank you. You want to set all the posts and then uh, shoot yeah. shoot them with a laser. Set the posts and then we'll laser. Okay. Oh. Hey, you think we could huck this beam into that six by six? That's what I'm thinking it has to do. I'm cool with that right there. Do I like it? Right there. Money. Okay. I love it. Let's go the other way. Right there. That's it, that's money. All good, we have more. Um, maybe spin that out. That's crown, though. Is it? Yeah, right there. <laughs> Yep. Right there. 
Money. <laughs> yep. What's Do we have any other six by six post? Uh, hold on one second. Hold that. Gotcha. Let's go with that. Right there. Throw it right there. Yeah, it's good. I got you. Ooh, look at that sharpie. I got that lip level. Money. Money, money, money. Right there. Money. So We're waiting on a few last pieces. We're missing the post. We are. I think missing one of the beams back here. We need this center post here. We're gonna shoot a laser, pocket these beams in, and uh, keep on trucking. Just wanted to show you guys the process of getting trusses. This truss company works a little bit different. We've talked about this. The truss manufacturer we typically use would bring out all the trusses and we'd bring a crane. Louie would come out and fly with us, which is great. We have a good time doing that. This company though brings out their own little truck with a crane on it and they're able to hit the majority of the home. There's pros and cons with this. One, it's cheaper to have them come out with their own equipment and bring everything. The con to that is the fact that I don't trust the crane operator one bit. We had a couple words exchanged back and forth between him and I. He uh, wouldn't keep the dang crane in one spot. While I was in the process of trying to unhook the rigging to where he can go and hook up another set, I've got my hands up in this pinch point. And I told him, hold the crane, do not move. Let me unhook it. And he's pulling up on the crane, getting real close to pinching my fingers in that chain. Not only that, we just had a hard time dealing with him back and forth, but trusses are up there. We're gonna get this post and beam knocked out in the next video. Get that taken care of. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comments. T-shirts, merchandise, brand new stuff. Link in the description down below. We'll put a preview up of one of the shirts right here. Good looking stuff, man. See you guys next time.